Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we created automated systems to help you win big, no matter what sport you want to bet on, and not just win big, but you will win big consistently. So we're going to look at some Major League Baseball games for this weekend of May 17th to May 19th. And as we are a quarter of the way through the Major League Baseball season, the division races are really starting to heat up, and some of the teams are starting to really rise to the top of the, the pack here. So the featured game, or featured uh, series for the weekend, I should say, is the Houston Astros and the Boston Red Sox. We will go through some other games first, but we scroll down through the list here at the Z Code VIP Club section. If you're not already a member, please join up. You will have access to all these great tools to help you make your, your bets. So you see we have Major League Baseball, and the time here is Dece or December, May the 17th, excuse me, May the 17th. So we go down through the list here, and we will scroll down. Here's some of the matchups. See, we have Chicago Cubs, Washington Nationals. Uh, we have the Colorado Rockies and Philadelphia Phillies. That's one of the matchups I want to look at. So let's take a look at that first. You can see right now the Rockies have average up status. And you look at their last game results, they have won four out of their last six. The Philadelphia Phillies are burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. They are first place in the National League East. The Rockies are fourth place in the National League West. If we look at the uh, power rankings indicator, you can see that the Phillies have been going up there at plus 24. The Rockies have been up and down. They're up to 15 as of May the 11th. They are back down to plus 10. Let's take a look at the uh, totals predictor. This is if you want to bet on the over under. You can see here the red is where the Rockies games are at. The blue is the, is the norm, the middle. So you can see that they are trending way over. The Philadelphia Phillies are playing in games that are trending under, so it's best to avoid betting the over-under in this series. If you look down through here now at the, uh, oh, here we go, the volatility oscillator to see which teams are the most stable. You can see they're both pretty stable at uh, plus 10 for the Phillies, plus 8 for the Rockies. That means that they're both performing pretty well as their favorite underdog status indicates. So. The Phillies are likely going to be the favorites here at home. Uh, the scheduled pitchers for the weekend are John Gray, Antonio Centazella, Kyle Freeland for the Rockies. The Phillies are undecided for Friday. Aaron Nola and Jared Eikhoff for the weekend. The Phillies are the better team. They play well at home. They should win this series two games to one. I don't see a sweep. Sweep is unlikely, but the Phillies will win the series. So we'll go down through here to another matchup. Go to Houston and Boston. This was the featured one of the week. So you see here, both teams are burning hot, Boston and Houston. Houston has won their last six and nine out of their last ten. Boston has won their last five and eight out of their last ten. Both teams are playing really great ball right now. With the power ranking indicator, you can see that Boston is at plus 20. Houston is way up here at plus 29. Let's take a look at the totals predictor for betting the over under. You can see that Houston is playing games trending on the over. And you look at Boston, they're also playing games trending over. Going for the over in every game in this series is probably a very safe bet. That's what I would do. Go with the over in this one. Uh, Jared Cole is scheduled to pitch on Friday for Houston. Saturday, Corbin Martin. And Sunday, Brad Peacock. The Red Sox are undecided for Saturday, but Rick Porcello and Chris Sale will anchor the series. Boston is very good at home. Houston's very good on the road. I mean, both teams are great. That's why this is a featured match. Uh, Boston is currently third in the AL East, but they're on the rise. Houston is first in the AL West. I see Boston as likely winning the series two games to one. Houston could sneak it out as well, but do not bet on a sweep for either team. Both teams are too good to be swept, but this is the one to watch for this weekend. Okay, we scroll down through here. We got a few more we want to look at. Go here to got a whole bunch of games. None of these are the ones I was going to feature. Go down through here. We go San Francisco at Arizona. So here is a National League West matchup. San Francisco is the last in the West, and Arizona is second. You can see that the Giants are ice cold up. They have not really fared well lately. They did win their last game, but they've only won two out of their last six. The Diamondbacks, after a three-game losing streak, have has a, a win against the Pirates. They are 3-3 three three over the last six. 
you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that the Giants are way down just at plus three. There's a reason why they're in last place, they're plus three. And Arizona is at plus 15. The pitching matchup, you got Jeff Samarja, Madison Bumgarner, Drew Pomerantz for the Giants, Merrill Kelly, Zach Godley, Robbie Ray for the Diamondbacks. If you look at the total predictor, if you want to bet over and under in this series, take a look at that. You will see that the Giants are playing games trending over. We see by the red line there. You go down here to the Giant, or excuse me, to Arizona. Arizona is also trending over. So betting the over is a good bet for this series. Let's go to one more thing we'll look at for this series. We'll look at the volatility oscillator. As you see here, neither team is extremely stable. The Diamondbacks here at what, one, the Giants at plus five. So betting strictly on the uh, on their favorite underdog stats is probably not wise for this series. The Giants are not very good. The Diamondbacks are clearly the better team. This should be a very easy series win for Arizona. Unlikely for a sweep because it's hard to sweep a divisional opponent. It's possible, but I would not bet on that. But go for the Diamondbacks to win the series. So I'm going to go down here. There's a couple more games here I want to look at. Uh, here we go. Minnesota and Seattle. Minnesota is currently averaged down. Seattle is ice cold up. You see Minnesota has lost three out of their last four, three and three over their last six. Seattle here has won only two out of their last six, and they lost four straight before taking a 6-5 game over the A's. Look at the power rankings indicator. You can see here that Seattle has been up and down, mostly down. They're down at plus eight. Minnesota was up near the top here. They're at plus 29, steady for a while. They've dipped slightly, but they're still at plus 26. Let's look at the totals predictor. If you're looking for the over-under, Minnesota is trending under. They were trending over earlier in the season. They're trending under now in their games. And Seattle is trending over, again, since they're on opposite sides of the spectrum here. It's probably not a good bet to go over-under. I'd probably avoid that for the games in this series. The pitching matchups, Martin Perez, Jose Barrios, and Kyle Gibson are going for the Twins. Felix Hernandez, Marco Gonzalez, and Yusei Kikuchi are going for the Mariners. Um, I want to look at one more thing here, the volatility oscillator. You see both teams are really pretty stable here. Minnesota's at plus 14. Seattle's at plus 11. So this is a good series to consider the favorite underdog status. Again, Minnesota is on the road. Seattle is at home. Seattle probably will be favored in a few of these games being at home. Minnesota is the better overall team, clearly the better overall team. I still think Minnesota probably wins the series two games to one. The last one I wanted to look at was Pittsburgh and San Diego. I believe that was up here. I believe I had passed that one. Maybe not. Let's scroll down through here and see if I find Pittsburgh and San Diego for you. Click out here. It is Pittsburgh, San Diego. Okay, both teams are averaged down right now, as you see. The Pirates lost their last game, but they're 3-3 three three over their last six. The Padres are also 3-3 three three over their last six, but have lost two out of their last three. Looking at the power rankings indicator, you see that Pittsburgh has a slight advantage of 23-19. to 19. If we look at the totals predictor, Pittsburgh is playing games trending well over. And San Diego is playing games, trending over as well. So this is a good series to bet the over in each game. So that's the way I would go for that. Um, Jordan Lyles, Stuart Brault, Nick Kingham are going for the Pirates. And for San Diego, Joey Lucchesi, Nick Marjavicious, and Chris Paddock. If you're looking at the volatility oscillator, these two teams, neither one of them are, are extremely stable. You see Pir uh, Pirates at zero. San Diego plus two. So what that tells me is not to look at the favorite underdog stats too heavily when determining your bets for this series. The Padres are in third place. The Pirates are in fourth place in their respective divisions. Uh, Pirates are a much better road team than the Padres are at home. The Padres are below 500 at home. So because of that, I think the Pirates will edge out the series winning two games out of three. So before we go here, I want to show you something that we have going on here for this week. Actually, it started on the uh, on the 10th of May. If we could scroll up through here on this page, it is a contest that we have. 
MLB King 2019. The contest started already on Friday, May the 10th. We've got a lot of great things going on here. You can see here, uh, every contender receives a $10,000 virtual bankroll. The players who have built the biggest bankroll after 10 rounds wins. And he goes, you can just go down through here and read up on all this. It's a really great contest. You can see here that first place is $400, and there's four prizes down to uh, fourth place is $100, and there's a special prize. The most profitable winning streak is $150. And then you can scroll down through here and read the rules. It's really not very difficult to do. It says here there'll be 10 rounds played on the contest on a weekly basis. Every round player must use up to five units and so on and so forth. You can read through here. It's really self-explanatory. So it's really a great contest. Make sure you remember to join. And if you're not a member yet, upgrade here today. And, you know, stay with us and win big and win big consistently. So there you have it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the games. I thank you for watching and we will see you next